Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort. So far this week we've done a video on Disneyland and DCA. So today we're gonna be doing an update at Downtown Disney. So right now we're currently waiting for the Star Wars Trading Post to open. It should be open like in the next five minutes or so, but check this out guys. This is so sad, but the Obi-Wan Kenobi series sand art is now gone. And now this area is filled back with water. <laughs> Alright, but anyways, it looks like the Star Wars Trading Post is now opening. We're gonna go inside and see if there's anything new today. So as soon as you walk into the trading post, you'll see a lot of the newer like Star Wars merchandise. This is by uh, Heroes and Villains. I showed this to you guys the other day at um, the Star Trader, but now they have it here at the trading post. A cool t-shirt, hoodie, this kid's shirt, and then they have this long sleeve. I have never seen this shirt before. It's pretty cool. It's got the Millennium Falcon and it says, let's take a trip. Looks like they currently have sizes medium, large, extra large, and 2XL. And in case you're interested, this shirt is $24.99. They also have a lot of that newer, like Darth Vader merchandise I've shown you guys also at the Star Trader. They have the crew neck, the hoodie, they have this reversible bucket hat, they have this bag. And they also have this shirt, which I've never seen before. Look, it's a stormtrooper playing fetch with an ad at. <laughs> This fetch, he throws the wrench, boom, 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 ow. <laughs> this shirt retails for $29.99 and looks like sizes range from an extra small to a 2X. Here's something else I've never seen before. They have a kid's hoodie, which is awesome. Look at that. It's got Stormtrooper helmet, Darth Vader's helmet, it's got the Death Star, and then it says Star Wars on it. Sadly, it's only for kids, but in case you're interested, uh, sizes range from an extra small to an XL in kid sizes, and this one retails for $39.99. And then just like I do every time I come to Trading Post, I'm going to show you guys what lightsabers they have in stock. So here's a newer edition of this store. They have the Dark Saber. And they also have Darth Vader. They have Mace Windu. They have uh, Anakin's lightsaber. They have Count Dooku, Darth Maul. They have both of them. Uh, Luke. Kylo Ren, Ben Solo, Asajj Ventress, Leia, Ahsoka Tano, and Rey. Oh, check it out. Look, they have that new puzzle set that I showed you guys also at the Star Trader. It comes with uh, four puzzles and 500 pieces. And then I guess the last thing I have to show you guys is that they have that new kids Mandalorian spirit jersey. Which I really like this one. I saw, I saw this at the Emporium and then I believe at the Star Trader. But they have it here as well in case you can get into the park. But anyways, that was basically all the latest and greatest at the Star Wars Training Post. I know it's a lot of stuff I've already shown you guys in the park, but like I always say, just in case you can't get to the park and you can only come to Downtown Disney, I like to show you guys what you guys can find here as well. Looks like they updated this construction wall. Before it was displaying like a bunch of the Star Wars movies, but now it has a lot of the Marvel movies slash uh, Marvel series on Disney+. Plus. But speaking about this construction wall, um, I was able to get some footage of over the wall so you guys can see how it currently looks behind this wall. So let me go ahead and put that now. Gateway to the Downtown Disney well, as you guys saw, nothing really interesting is happening behind this wall. <laughs> I feel like the hole keeps getting bigger, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if my mind is just playing tricks on me, but hopefully the next time we come here and we look over the wall, we'll see something different. So I ended up coming to Pin Traders to show you guys that they have some of the latest pins from Tuesday's release. Just in case you can't get into the park again, they have them here as well. So they have our transformation story pin. This one is $19.99. They have the Princess Tea Party Pocahontas pin. This one is $19.99. They also have the Peter Pan floating down Main Street USA pin. This one's $19.99. And lastly, they still have some of the Haunted Mansion pins, which I think is amazing. Also glows in the dark, and it's $34.99. So I was walking by Jazz Kitchen and I thought it looked a little bit different today. I couldn't put my finger on it so I ended up Googling a photo of it. And it turns out that one of the parts of the building is now white when it used to be yellow. See, this is what I was talking about. See, this is like now white. It used to be yellow like that. Huh. So I feel like it's been a while since I showed you guys like the treats that they have here at Mark's Things Confectionery. So I think we're gonna head there next and show you guys what they have. So it looks like they have churro toffee. They have one of my favorites. They have, it says seasonal brownie, but I believe it's a cookie. Uh, they have marshmallow dipped chocolate ones. They have Grogu apple. They have Sorcerer Mickey apple, Minnie Mouse. They have, which is this one? Apple pie apple. 
caramel peanut apple, caramel apple. Same few cupcakes I've had for some time now. They have the Rice Krispie Treat, it looks like a cookie. They have the M&M one, they have Minnie Mouse Cake Pop, and then just a bunch of different cookies that they've had for some time now. So basically they have a lot of the same treats that they've had for some time now at Marcy's Confectionery, but anyways, hopefully they get something new soon. Um, our next stop is gonna be World of Disney, which is gonna be our last stop of the day. So I'm hoping that they have something cool in there. All right, so we just got inside of World of Disney, and over here in the New Emo section, looks like they have Pluto. They have lots of Plutos in stock, actually. Pluto is $19.99. We also have those same New Emo's outfits that I showed you guys in the park. This is part of the character mix-up collection. They have this one, this one, and then I think this is my favorite because of the beanie. I really like the beanie. I believe these are each uh, $12.99. And I'm not entirely sure if this is new or not, but I feel like I've never seen this uh, New Emo's on fly bag before. But it looks like the balloon popcorn bucket. This one's $21.99. It's kind of cool. <laughs> it's different for sure. So here's a look at the ear wall near the entrance of the store. And sadly, I'm not really seeing anything new. Or on this like little display over here. They have a lot of the same ears that we've seen for some time now. They still have tons of the It's a Small World launch fly bag. Part of the uh, Mickey Main Attraction line. They also have the Tiki Room plush and pin. But still no headband or lounge fly bag. I'm sure this spirit jersey has been out for some time now, but I feel like I've never seen it before. So I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys. So on the back it says bonjour. It's got Minnie Mouse. Here's a look at the front. Oh, the front's nice. Look at that. It's pretty cool. This one's $74.99 and it looks like sizes range from an extra small to a 2XL. So here in room 2, which is basically like the women's apartment, they have a new pair of Haunted Mansion ears. These are pretty cool. Let's look at the back. And on the side it says the Haunted Mansion. In case you're interested, these are $29.99. So we just made our way to room three, and you guys know how they have like a marble section here? Well, now they're playing Avengers music in the background. It's pretty cool. Listen very carefully. It's kind of faint. But what's like super cool over here in room three is that they have a new fan themed to Pirates of the Caribbean. Let me go show you guys. Whoops, wrong way. Dead men tail no tails. I believe these are like $12.99, if I'm not mistaken. And then they also have this pretty cool Pirates of the Caribbean lounge fly bag. Look at that. And it's got one of my favorite scenes on it, which is awesome. This bag retails for $75, and then we're gonna show you guys the lining inside. That's pretty cool. So I don't normally cover like phone cases and stuff like that, but I saw a few that I've never seen before, like this Jessica Rabbit one. This one's $29.99. And they also have this one with Mickey and Minnie. That's what they're going through, it's a small world. $29.99, and then they have this Little Mermaid one. $34.99. And then over here in the mug wall in room five, it looks like they have a new pigment tumbler. It says one little spark. This one's $24.99. They also have this new Carl and Ellie mug. It says, thanks for the adventure, now go have a new one. Love, Ellie. Man, that part of the movie is so sad, but I don't know, on like the, the photos of this mug, like they look so happy, which, you know, makes the mug really cool. This one is $14.99. They also got in that Bell mug that I showed you guys the other day at the China Closet in Disneyland, as well as the Cinderella mug. They got both of them in. But anyways, that's basically it for World of Disney. So we ended up leaving World of Disney. Uh, I will say today wasn't like the most eventful day. I will say that the, the highlight of the day was over here at World of Disney. They had the new Haunted Mansion ears as well as the new Pirates of the Caribbean launch fly bag. But anyways, I think I'm in the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.